Hi, Matt Gamble, 27 years old, from Warwick in country Queensland, driving for Penrite Racing. Racing hero growing up, um, probably Greg Murphy, I'd say. I was a big Murph fan uh, throughout all of his years, so probably him, I mean, he was a bit of a character on and off track, so that's probably the reason. Into racing, it was definitely a family affair. Um, my whole family had a heavy involvement in my local racetrack, involved in a car club in Warwick, so Morgan Park Raceway and uh, out there from a very young age, as early as I can remember, and wanting to get involved uh, straight away. So, uh, yeah, so currently I'm a Porsche factory driver, uh, contracted to, to Porsche in Germany. And uh, main program this year has been the IMSA WeatherTech Championship, uh, racing in GDD Pro with FAF Motorsports and uh, Mathieu Gemini. Uh, it's been a fantastic year winning the uh, championship uh, last weekend. So that's the main program. And then next year racing with uh, Porsche Penske Motorsport in LMDH. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, two iconic brands coming together with Porsche and Penske, uh, working under the captain, which is very, very cool. Uh, he's got a lot of history uh, also with Porsche. So that'll be a cool experience next year. A uh, big step up for me, jumping into prototypes. It's always been a dream to go back to uh, top level of racing with Porsche and now uh, they're finally doing that. So uh, really, really exciting for me to make that step. I think there's a couple for sure, you know, making a step to a Porsche factory driver, which was our ultimate goal together um, with my supporters and and my background uh, to be able to get to that level. Uh, but also probably winning the, the 2019 Bathurst 12 hour was a, a nice little one as well. Uh, that was our first big sort of international win, especially with the, the way we won it. It was uh, very, very cool. Yeah, I always grew up uh, watching Bathurst from a, from a young age, always wanting to to be able to be a part of the race. Uh, now this is my fourth year already. Um, you know, it's still one I would love to tick off my, my bucket list. And uh, also for very, for many internationals, you know, it's a race they always tune into and have a lot of interest in too. And, and for me, I love coming back and, and doing the race. So uh, it's definitely one still on the list I want to tick off. Yeah, I think uh, for sure the, you know, the cars, the race itself is very, very different to anywhere else in the world. Uh, and the track, but for sure the fans make a, a big difference. You know, I see a lot of characters all over the world, whether that be in the Nürburgring or in the United States in IMSA. But uh, yeah, it's a phenomenal weekend. You know, always when it comes to the Bathurst 1000 weekend, it has a different feeling to anywhere else in the world. So uh, absolutely love coming back. There's a couple that come close to Bathurst for sure. Bathurst for me is still you know, on top of my list. I might be a little bit biased being Australian, but it's on top. Uh, but very close behind is the Nürburgring Nordschleife. Um, you know, gruesome track. They call it green hell for a reason. You know, incredibly long, uh, difficult, and uh, you know, Nurburgring 24 hour race is, is something that uh, nothing else can come close to. So uh, I would say for sure that one. Uh, and then a couple other tracks in the US too, you know, similar to Bathurst, pretty ballsy, uh, just a little bit more runoff compared to here. One of them is probably Road Atlanta, which I was at last weekend. You know, you've definitely got to take a lot of risk to go fast there, and there's not much margin for error, but uh, it's a fast flowing track, just like Bathurst just with uh, less walls.